Hey everyone, what's going on? It is Zedic Plus of Zedic Gamers, and welcome back to some Minecraft on the Xbox. This will be a video showing you guys how to build a very efficient mob trap for the Xbox 360 edition of Minecraft. You guys got 100 likes on the diamond mob trap video, as you can see the diamond mob trap up in the sky. So I made this video. Anyways, what you're basically going to need for this video is about 3 main things, but realistically it's actually 29 things. So you're going to need 12 buckets of water. I mean, you don't have to have all 12 buckets right in the row, but I mean, it would be more efficient to just have the full 12 instead of having to go up and down from the mob trap getting more and more and more. I mean, 12 buckets of water is only 36 iron, so it's not that too hard to find. And then you're going to need about 64 or 16 stacks or 64 cobblestone. And this equals out to be 1,024 pieces of cobblestone. So, you know, it's kind of a high number, but realistically, it's not too hard to get that much cobblestone. I mean, if you've been playing on your world for like four days you probably have that much because I mean if you're mining then you're definitely getting enough cobblestone so basically you want to build up I built up about like 50 blocks high I mean I'm pretty sure I built up too high but when I got to the point where I was in the middle of the clouds it was very annoying so I just decided to actually build above the clouds I mean that way you know for sure they're gonna die like there's no possible way they're gonna survive that fall so once you get up to the very very top just go ahead and make a little four man block I made it at the very bottom so I'd be able to tell exactly how I wanted it. Plus, I wanted to make it symmetrical with my other diamond mob trap just because, you know, I don't know, I'm OCD, I guess. And then once you get your four main area like I just got now, you basically want to go out four blocks each side of the two. So, like I'm going here, one, two, three, four, and then you want to put an end piece on. So you got one more, five, and then on that fifth one you place some blocks, and there you go. And you basically continue that for the rest of the sides. And then once you have finished all that, you basically just fill in all the gaps until it's all good to go. And you do not have to put a ending on where the blocks are that are standing up. If you can tell, I mean, obviously you're going to see when I'm doing it. Like right here, I fail. I put it there at the very bottom. You don't need to do that. Just put it on the top like I do the rest of them, and then you're good to go. Once you finish that, just go to the middle here and go to the very two end pieces. As you can see, they will have blocks under them, and then go an extra three blocks out. And then for the end piece, go an extra four. So, like, you, you'll be going an extra four blocks in total. But with the fourth block out will be your end piece, as you can see right here. This is my third. And then fourth. Okay, place it me. Come on, me. I can do it. There we go. And then there we go. And then fill in those little gaps, and then keep on doing that, and you'll be good to go. As you will see, in the middle here, I'm actually probably going to fast forward, but I do end up dying. I actually fall, and I die. So, obviously, the shift key, I guess the RS button, I believe it's RS button, yeah, doesn't work all the way. So sometimes you will fall, and you will die, but, you know, it has to happen, and, you know, it works. doesn't really matter too much. So, anyways, let's get back to the fast forwarding. And once you have filled in all those blocks, we need a landing platform or a spawning platform rather for the mobs to actually spawn to walk into because mobs will not spawn in water. So we have to fill in all the gaps on the very top. So this will take a little bit. This will take a lot of your cobblestone, but you know, it's worth it. You kind of have to do it. And you know, it's basically what has to be done.
And there you go, your framework has been all laid out. All you have to do now is put all the water into the mob trap and then put the roof on it. So, this is where the 12 buckets of water come into handy. As you will see, as you're placing them, they should all perfectly line up with the 2x2 two two, like falling platform we made. So, as long as they're doing that, just keep on looking back to make sure like I did. And you have to place it obviously in the two water slots that we made the extended you know, place for. The corners, because you know, that always helps. And then just keep doing it, and as you can keep seeing, I keep on looking back to make sure it's still there. Well, maybe not, I don't know, maybe I do. I guess not, apparently. Anyways, hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. We're almost done, all we have to do is put the roof on, and then we'll be good to go. As you see, one more bucket, place it down, and we get the water all going in, perfectly aligning with the 2x2 two two as it turns into the nighttime. So, that's basically it for your framework. All you have to do now is put the roof on it, which is pretty self-explanatory. The roof is a three high roof you basically do a two around the entire edges and then the roof is actually the third high so what you want to do is you want to go around the entire edge of the mob trap you don't need to extend it anymore just go on the top do this one two and then keep on going around doing two and then once you're done you put the third one top and then you start making the roof so i basically explained the roof all the way so i'm going to fast forward all of it until i'm very done with the roof and i'll catch you on the flip side then And there we have it. We are finished with the mob trap. As you saw, I put torches so I could actually see. But we have to take those away, otherwise mobs will not spawn. So that is it. As you saw, I got really lucky. I like to use the very, very, very last amount of cobblestone I had. And once again, that's only because I fell and died, so I had to make that second pillar up here. So that's the only reason why I had to do that, why I was so close to not having the stuff I needed. So that's, how, that's what it was, and that's, you know, I'm stuttering now. So anyways... I'm going to cut to actually showing the mob spawner in action, and then we will see what is up. Actually, before I cut to that, I just want to point out that you want to put torches on top of the mob spawner so the mobs won't actually spawn on top. So, I place about, like, you know, eight torches, like one on each side, and then four in the middle, just, you know, just to be on the safe side. But now, after that, now I'm going to actually cut to when the mob starts falling and then dying. So, and by the way, I said this in my Diamond Mob Trap video, but this is of course based off the mob trap that Captain Sparkles made in his Skylock Survivor World. So, thanks to him for that. And anyways, get to the mobs dying. And there you have it. Creeper is dying. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And you know, hopefully you guys build the mob traps and get you a ton of mob drops. As well as some experience if Xbox ever updates the actual version. So anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys check out some of my awesome stuff here. I got a Let's Play on Minecraft on the Xbox. I got that video where I made that complete diamond mob trap, as well as some live Nazi zombie series going on. And if you guys really enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up, as it would really help me out. If we could get this video to 100 ratings, that'd be really freaking cool. And to help this video get a lot more ratings faster, make sure you guys share the video around via YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, or Facebook, as it also really helps me out, and I very much appreciate it. So other than that, hopefully you guys had a nice day. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a nice day, guys. Peace out.